Yeah, I, mean, I totally agree with Dr. Kazemi. I did not find a way to do that, but I know that Sirona is working on a computer algorithm that is, can potentially reduce the scatter after the fact. But I think uh, it's limited, and I think it's our responsibility to identify that there is scatter, understand the limitations, and resort to uh, scanning the patient with a scan appliance that has radiographic markers positioned in the proper direction away from the scatter, so the radiographic guide can then be merged with the CT scan and still get the accuracy of computer-guided surgery. So it is doable. But I agree that this is one of the uh, limitations, now, limitations nowadays. Right. Yeah, uh, two, two comments. Uh, the aesthetic zone is uh, extremely tricky. Uh, there are a lot of pitfalls. And unfortunately, when things go wrong, they go wrong in a big way. So we have to be extremely uh, cautious and conservative. That's my approach. Uh, I, don't, I only have two, uh, two points. When I don't have any buckle plate whatsoever, I don't place an immediate implant. That's just my philosophy. I think it's safe. I prefer to graft the site, get a, I don't want to say ideal bone, but I get reasonable bone to um, place the implant. And whenever I have a doubt, then I don't have a doubt, then I just don't place an immediate for whatever reason, if it happens in the surgery, and I communicate to the patient ahead of time, and I plan for some alternatives. Because we don't want to extract a tooth, not being able to place an implant, or not being able to load an implant, and the patient doesn't have an alternative. Okay, some of our, uh, I think Dr. Kazemi knows, we work with referring doctors, and they need to be aware of that. When a patient is referred for an extraction and a, an implant placement, it may need to be a staged approach, and we need to be able to uh, have a provisional restoration, uh, such as an Essex retainer or even a flipper, or taking a tooth and bonding it to the adjacent teeth just so the patient doesn't leave uh, with a, a compromised aesthetics. Uh, I've used all of the softwares on the market at the moment. Uh, I currently use predominantly uh, Simplant Pro, and I've, I use Nobel Clinician with the uh, Smart Fusion. But I'll be honest, I've used them all. I've gotten great results with all software, even the free software that you showed. I believe you use Blue Sky Bio.